Hello everyone, this is the third part of the IPython widget series and it's about styling widgets. So um, first uh, we'll be uh, covering how to um, style widgets using um, a visible function, set CSS and add class. First we'll import uh, widgets and we'll import RE which is short for regular expression. If you're not familiar with that, it's just a way to format text and search and um, um, do some template uh, work I I in a way that could save a lot of time. Um, so first let's examine a widget um, that uh, visible. Uh, I'm adding a container here with three widgets. Uh, one is a um, text widget and two are buttons. And I'm adding all of them as children inside the container. I'm defining also two functions, one called show uh, hide user and one called show user. And I'm linking uh, these two functions to my two buttons on click. And I can click now hide and it will hide uh, my uh, user field and show will show my user field. It's just uh, this simple. Um, the second one we'll uh, be discussing is uh, set CSS. Um, set CSS will control any um, uh, CSS aspect of your widget. So you can control the font, the background color, the borders, uh, um, or anything that you can control with CSS. So um, to examine that, I'm uh, defining a container in here and I'm adding two um, widgets, both are text widgets, uh, one called name and one called email and I'm adding both of them as children inside the container. I'm defining uh, a function here that um, matches um, the uh, old and the new value of um, the email uh, field and it will uh, make sure if they are a valid uh, email or not. So, and I'm, uh, the reason why I'm doing that you can directly check um, um, check the widget itself and make sure if the email is correct or not and control the, um, the style. But you don't want to keep changing, um, uh, keep using uh, set CSS on every t um, uh, keystroke that will make the user control not really useful. Uh, so uh, let's uh, examine that. Uh, we have uh, email in here. I will uh, try something in here. Uh, and it will um, make sure that I wrote the correct email. If I forget, for example, this, it will return it back to red. And um, that's a nice visual way to uh, validate someone's uh, input um, with uh, no messages or anything. It's just a little visual um, uh, effect that could really um, help a user um, uh, find uh, where their uh, error is in their form. Uh, anyway, um, the... Um, the other way to um, control the, um, uh, your widgets um, or, or the style of your widgets is by adding class, uh, which um, is a CSS class. So you can define your own classes or you can use any of the Bootstrap uh, library, which is available uh, in IPython notebook. So um, I'm... Uh, I will uh, be going uh, over a few of uh, Bootstrap uh, classes just to demonstrate. Uh, and here I'm defining seven buttons uh, and I'm adding them to a, a container as children. And these are my seven buttons here. I'm adding class to each one of them. Uh, you can find these classes in uh, Bootstrap uh, website. Um, and you can see that we can control the style of our buttons in here. Um, the second thing I will be showing you, sometimes you want to have a big button to um, um, demonstrate uh, something or just to have this style of a button. That's a block button. 
and the way to do that is also by adding a class um, the uh, other thing that you can mm, do and really have uh, it will give you really good uh, control over styling your form is using the HTML widget uh, to examine how your code will look like I will be using um, cell magic in here HTML cell magic so anything I put in here will be rendered as HTML so I'll be testing this these are labels I can put them in um, a string uh, and uh, define a HTML uh, widget and pass this code as value and when I display that I get a form with um, these labels of course you usually want to use uh, one label only in inside a single widget so you can control how to uh, show that um, the second thing you uh, I will be showing you is uh, alerts you can have these uh, dismissible alerts so you can uh, read the alert you can dismiss it by closing it close it close it close it and um, and that's how this uh, works um, in here I will uh, be uh, explaining how you can use your um, the HTML widget within your code so I'm um, defining the code of um, an alert with the um, three um, keywords inside type title message so I can control that uh, I'm defining three widgets in here HTML widget a text button and a button and um, I have uh, one uh, function in here save uh, it's basically um, formatting this text by adding the type success title saved and adding some message uh, and it's linked to um, this buttons on click so if I uh, execute that I will get this form I can write something uh, save and I will get this alert telling me um, your my form has been saved and I can dismiss that uh, this uh, tutorial is available open source on github and it's viewable on MB viewer uh, feel free to use this uh, the link um, to this notebook is in the description below uh, I hope uh, you liked this uh, tutorial and um, if you uh, enjoyed this uh, you might watch the next um, uh, tutorial about um, widgets alignment or the previous one about handling events in IPython widgets um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you didn't already um, thank you